The closing show of Israel's Fashion Week made a memorable, stimulating night full of nostalgia and fun. It was a night that celebrated two icons, Mesquite, the recently revived legendary fashion brand initially launched in 1954, and its founder, the extraordinary pioneer Ruth Diane, who celebrated her 97th birthday that night. All proceeds from the show went to the neonatal unit at the Sheba Medical Center headed by my friend Dr. Zippy Strauss, who acted as a model for one night. During its days, Mesquite was as an Israeli as Falafel, representing the melting pot that stood at the core of young Israel. It sought to fuse cultures, nationalities, and ethnicities of immigrants from various countries of the diaspora into one unified style. Mesquite accessorized homes and enabled women to dress up stylishly during the first decades of statehood when import was banned. It created the highbrow of the Israeli taste. Its story began shortly after the foundation of the State of Israel. It was a governmental company that produced rugs, jewelry, and fashion, providing employment to newly arrived immigrants by allowing them to practice the crafts of their own heritage. It was Diane who discovered the skills for embroidery, knitting, wood carving, and silversmithing among immigrants who arrived to Israel in the 50s and founded Mesquite with the support of Minister of Labor Golda Meir. For over four decades, it emerged as the most ambitious platform of Israeli design, manifesting in a genuine style. Its products were officially gifted by presidents and prime ministers to global leaders, diplomats, and foreign heads of states visiting Israel. Mesquite's fashion department, headed by Fini Leitersdorf, came to play a central role in the company. The dresses and coats were knitted and embroidered, embellished with buttons crafted by Yemenite silversmith or carved out of local olive wood and shells. The color palettes came to evoke the essence of the Israeli landscape, the Mediterranean, the citrus and the cactus, the color of Jerusalem stones, the shades of the Bedouin tents, and the desert of Judah. With global taste moving away from the ethnic into the global, Mesquite suffered a major decline and finally closed its doors in the 90s. Two decades later, it was revived by designer Sharon Tal, supported by Ruth Diane. As visionaries before, its fashion is now crafted by skills artisans, shaping a revival of an Israeli style and featured by fashion magazines worldwide. The closing show at the Israeli Fashion Week came to celebrate a spectacular legacy.